In the previous video, we went over the setup of the tripod. Now we're going to go over the setup of connecting the tracking unit to the iPad. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, there is no light. This is signifying that the tracking unit is powered off. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the back left hand corner of the unit. Here we'll find the power button. We're going to select this once and only once to turn the tracking unit on. If we go to the front of the unit, we will now see that there is a flashing green light. This is signifying that the unit is powering on. This can take a second to completely boot up. Now that that light is a solid green color, we're going to go to the back right hand corner of the unit. Here we'll find the serial number. This serial number is going to be the ID for the Wi-Fi. Now we're going to go ahead and move over to the iPad. We're going to go ahead and open the settings and go to Wi-Fi. At the very bottom I see that serial number. We're going to go ahead and connect to it where the password is just all lowercase password and select join. We're going to verify that we do see that connection with a blue check mark. You may receive a no internet connection error. This is normal as the tracking unit does not produce an internet signal. It just produces a connection between the tracking unit and the iPad. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the TrackMan software and allow the unit to connect to the app. We can now see the unit is connecting to the app. Once it is finally connected, we can select the image in the top right hand corner and see that the battery is at 74%. We can now go ahead and move on to calibration. 